Gab with Shabby, I'm your host, Selena Baldwin. This is my co-host, Chris Gray, and together we own the Shabby Alpaca. Hi. Hi, welcome. Uh, today we are going to teach you how to clean your alpaca fur items. This can be something that's very intimidating. Uh, all, one of our frequently asked questions when people buy an alpaca fur item, such as a stuffed animal or a pillow, is how do you clean it? How do I clean this? Um, it is intimidating, but it is really not as difficult as you think, and it's 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 a very successful procedure, if you will. And it's hard to get them dirty. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's hard, hard to get them dirty. dirty. Now, stuffed animals, I think, are a little bit different because a lot of people give them to kids. Mm -hmm. Kids, as we know, are dirty. Mm -hmm. So, um, and your kids are. <laughs> <laughs> right, my kids. I'm sure. Okay, so um, what we have here is an alpaca stuffed chicken, which I have intentionally gotten dirty for the purposes of this video so that we can clean it. And there's three steps we're going to take to get this clean. Um, the first one is that we are going to brush it. So you can see um, he or she, this is probably a hen, so she's a little bit nappy and has kind of had some wear. This is actually a stuffed animal that my kids have carried around the house um, and thrown around and played with. So. Um, and she's all white, so she's showing a little bit of uh, wear and tear. So I just have a hard bristle brush here, and all I'm going to do is just kind of brush her out. So you just take kind of those nappy areas and just brush her out. That is also going to help with some of the dirt. I think the important thing to remember is that this was once a live animal. So live animals get dirty, they get wet, uh, you brush them, you know, they're, it's something that is alive and uh, attracts its share of dirt. So it's not that scary to clean something that was once alive. It's like brushing your hair. So you're just going to brush it out and get rid of some of that dirt. Um, the second thing that we have done is we have put some strawberry jelly on her fur. Um, now this is now like a glob of <laughs> it's disgusting. It was probably worse when it was wet. It was worse when it was wet, but I wanted to show you that you can get out dried out things. So, um, what do you think we should do about this? Cut it out. Cut it. So this ha this has a lot of fur to spare. Um, it's just like getting gum. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and do the cutting here. Okay. So go as close to, as you can to get rid of the actual offending thing, and then pull it out, and then very carefully. Okay, and then we're going to just pull down again and just kind of separate the fur. There we go. Are you scared? No. Okay. I'm scared I'm going to cut you. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, so we've just cut, so there's a little bit of shedding here now. So look what we cut out. We just the cut out the jelly. Fun. Now, there's nothing else on her, and you absolutely cannot tell that we have removed any fur from her body. Um, they, we, they make these with a ton of, you know, fur to spare. So we've cut out the jelly. Here's another little piece. That out. Just, it's on the tip, so just cut off the tip of it. Okay. Um, so she is free and clear of her strawberry jam. Now what I did is I also um, spilled coffee on her. Which, let me just tell you, when I put the coffee on, it actually was, like, repelling the coffee. And it does. Like, right. I had to, like, soak it in. Stop it. Yeah, yeah to get mm -hmm. it to even hold this coffee because the alpaca fiber is naturally moisture wicking. Mm -hmm. So it really didn't want to be on here. Um, so in that case, if you had a wet liquid, um, you would just quickly wipe it off. Yeah, right? I would have just used a towel to dry it and, and pull it off and... and make sure that it came away from the fur. Okay, so that's not difficult to do. So now what we have is a little coffee stain here <clears throat> and here. And what we have here is a bucket of what temperature water? Well, you could use tepid, cool or cold. Just don't use hot, never hot. So we're never gonna use hot water and we're never gonna use agitation when we're cleaning alpaca items uh, because that is what ruins it, that's what felts it, that's what basically will destroy mm -hmm. any fiber you were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, any natural fiber. Any natural fiber. So we're, we're going to avoid that. So what we have is our favorite new product, which I want you to tell us a little bit about Euclid. Okay. I've been using Euclid for years when I would dye my yarns or even wash my alpaca when it was in raw state. 
This stuff here smells beautiful unless you're using the non-smelling. Um, but this stuff here, it's a delicate wash and you don't have to rinse it. You need very, very little to actually do whatever job you want to do. Um, this here is a, a five mil and probably you could do a, a whole load of laundry with this if you wanted to. So um, it's just a great product and we're thrilled to have it. It's mm -hmm. something I, I tell people about all the time. Now we're able to carry it. So what we, just for future reference, we have 3.3 um, ounce bottles. And as you were saying, that will really last forever. A long time. So it's not going to be, <clears throat> because you really don't use a lot. I mean, would you say like pea size? What would you say? If, when we're going to wash this, how much are we going to use? Oh, very, very little. Pea size might be a bit. Little okay, piece. baby piece. Baby piece. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use some baby piece size of our sample here. These are also, the samples are also available on our website, um, <clears throat> www.chevyalpaga.com. Um, we are going to use just a piece size and we're going to clean it. Now, what would you say? Do we want to get this wet first? I think let's put this. it on there first, okay. just a little bit on there. Okay. Um, and we'll rub it in. Okay. So we're not going to get it wet. We're going to use the not soap. Yet. All right, yeah. so how are you going to measure it? I mean, do you want to I'm put not, it on your knife? Okay, because you may already know. Yeah, we just need a little bit. Okay. Um, you can see here, probably pieces. This is like, yeah, not even. Yeah. Not even. What if I put, like, get some liquid on Go my ahead. fingers? Okay, so Go I'm ahead. just going to get some cool water on my fingers, and I'm just going to, look at how beautifully that suds up already. You can tell it's doing the job it's supposed to do. Show them the, the suds and okay. what it looks like. I know it's kind of hard to see with this white, but we're sudsing it up. Put okay. a little bit more on. A little more water. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got some on um, the short fur too. These, this um, chicken has a couple different lengths of fur, which would be clean, clean a little bit differently each of them. So I'm just getting a little bit of water, rubbing. Now I'm not um, agitating this. I'm not scrubbing. I'm not using any kind mm -hmm. of um, tool. I'm just using my fingers. Mm -hmm. So um, I see that some of it's coming out. What would you say now? We would dip it in the water, just this little edge? Just add or some more. More water, water to it. Okay. Yeah. Because I think we're going to be able to actually dry it and not get it soaking wet. Okay. So yeah, we're not putting, you definitely would never want to put one of our stuffed animals or our pillow covers in the wash. No. Um, you're just, all we're doing is spot cleaning this item. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a full size item that the whole thing is dirty, um, you still would not put it in the wash. We would probably recommend taking that to the dry cleaner. Yeah, I would. Um, and you, you have had some experiences with taking... You want me to tell the story? Uh, about how you <coughs> scrub your alpaca blanket? Yeah, I took a, an alpaca quilt. I'll, I'll let her work on that. I took an alpaca quilt to the dry cleaner, and I was very specific that he could not wash it. Was, it was huge. It was queen size, very expensive, but it, it was a quilt that had alpaca lining in it. Um, and I took it there and said, don't, don't wash this. I need a dry clean. I go and pick it up, and he looks a little sheepish to me, and he comes out, and he's carrying my quilt, which, of course, a queen-size quilt would be this big, all done and wrapped in a nice thing. Instead, he had it hung, and it literally looked like Roman shades to me. He had washed it. Oh, my gosh. And it was totally ruined. Totally 100%. What did you say? That was like a $400 quilt? It was a $400 quilt, uh, alpaca inside, absolutely loved it. And um, I negotiated with him because I told him it was at least $400, and that made him blanch, which was interesting in itself. <laughs> and um, between us, we negotiated, and, and he ended up paying for a, great, a good portion of it, but I paid for part of it. But yeah, be sure you're specific with your dry cleaning. Well, and I mean, that really shouldn't have happened, no. wouldn't you say? No, that's I've got a rare experience. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I can tell that I've gotten out the coffee out of her fur. Mm -hmm. And so what, what should we just, we're just going to let her air dry, right? I would dry it a little bit with that to get okay. the primary moisture out. Okay. And again, I'm not, I'm not being rough with this. I'm, you know, I am using a towel just to, but I'm just really wiping it clean, um, wiping it dry. So... Here we are, we're drying this, and... Okay, now I would just fluff it, okay? Looks like a, smells like a wet dog too, actually. Really? Kind of. 
You think? No. That's not your dog. <laughs> <laughs> but not your dog. No, no, your no, dog. No, no, okay. No. So you don't have dirty kids or dirty dog. Right. So it, uh, this might be scary. You know, when you wash it, you can see it's kind of. I'm gonna actually just bring this lower, yeah. just because I'm afraid you can't see. So you can see it's it's you know damp and the fibers. Um, kind of stringy looking, but we right. are going to let this air dry and then we're going to have absolutely no it's going to be perfect. No stain, no anything. Right. Um, so we're going to uh, come back to you when she's dry, which will probably be a day. I mean, no. don't you think? No. no? no what do you think? Well, in Colorado. Fast. Yeah. It's already dry. Dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry. Oh, yeah, it'll dry in no time. Well, yeah. This looks good. What about hair dryer? What if I'm nervous? Can I hair dry it or do you rest? Sure. Oh, that would be okay? Yeah, okay. Be fine. Okay. Just don't burn it. Right. Okay. Well, I would suggest air drying, although, you know, it's plenty. you got plenty of time. If you've got a two-year-old wanting their, their animal back, then maybe you can just do a blow dry. Yeah. But I think, I mean, That's I think she's going to look clean. great. Yeah. And then, you know, we can brush her again. Like I said, she's got some naps and stuff, but you can brush her and get her, you know, looking ready to go. So Just remember, she only used a little bit of water. She tiny. never dunked it. So I, even this only has a cup in it. Um, and I only just used my fingertips to, you know, right. get water where I needed it. Uh, so we'll come back and show you this when it's dry, just so you can see that we did, in fact, clean her and she's not damaged or broken or anything. Um, are there any other tips we want to leave with them for cleaning their alpaca fur items? No, I just think really just it, it, if, it, if something does go on it, don't even worry about it. Just try to get it off before it actually stains or becomes right. part of the Right, right away. Problem. You want to yeah. do it right away. Yeah. Um, that I think that is really the best tip. I mean, mm -hmm. even with garments, if you get something on it, just get a little cool, cold water and just, you know, yeah. wipe it off. Yeah. Um, and then worse comes to worse, you get home and it has set, then take it off, use our Euclid. Uh, cold water, you know, it's going to come off and then you're going to air dry. Um, and if you want to do it quickly and don't have the Euclid, remember, just use hair, hair shampoo is great. Yep. Uh, worst case scenario, dry cleaner. Um, and we've got a couple blogs on washing alpaca, so you're welcome to check those out at blog.shabbyalpaca.com. And we just want to thank you for Gavin with Shabby, and we hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.